let's just go. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about whether it's better to buy or DIY when it comes to giving gifts at Christmas. Most Christmases I tend to give at least one toiletry gift to everybody in my family. I tend to go and make the most of the Boots 3 for 2 offer. But this year I had to think about it and I thought, well I wonder how much I would spend if I just put these gifts together myself instead. And every year I go to Boots and I make the most of the 3 for 2 at Boots. Now I'll usually spend somewhere in the region of 45 to 60 pounds in Boots. But this year I need to save money. I just can't afford to spend as much as I used to. So this year, I have decided to DIY them. What I've done is I've bought each member of my family a toiletry bag. You will have seen these on previous videos. So what I've done is I have filled each one of these with toiletries for each member of my family. It's given me the opportunity to sort of find stuff that I think they'll like, think they'll, they'll make them laugh. Um, we've got uh, my brother, my dad, and my mum, so I'm going to show you what I've put in there. So, in my mum's wash bag, to start with, I have got a little Rudolph reindeer bath scrunchie. This came from Primark, and I can't remember how much it cost, but it was, I think, £1.50, £2, something like that. I thought that was cute. I've bought uh, some... I've bought some Mix and Fizz Pink Fizz Bath and Shower Gel. That's from Superdrug and it's, oh, it smells so good. <laughs> it smells so good, I want some for myself. Um, I've also popped in there some Nivea Shower Cream, which is in the Indulgent Moisture Diamond. Oh God, amazing. It smells so good. Um, and also from Superdrug as well, I have bought two of these uh, body mists. Now almost everything that I've bought was on offer and I think these were two for five pounds. Um, and what you can do is you can use them individually or you can layer them up to create a unique scent. So um, I've got the Paradise and the Fresh. And to finish, I picked up some of the Super Drug face masks for hair. So we've got the Super Fruits Exfoliating Mask, the Chocolate Orange Self Heating Mask, and the Dead Sea Purifying Clay Mask. So that's what I've bought for my mum. So this one's for my brother. So uh, uh, in here we've got the Mint and Tea Tree Original Sauce Shower Gel. I've got the David Beckham Beyond Forever uh, Deodorant. I've got the Radox Feel Heroic with Lemon and Tea Tree Shower Gel. Um, I also bought some Hydrating Moisturiser with Jojoba, Jojoba Oil, Argan Oil and Aloe Vera. Uh, now, uh, those, the shower gels and the deodorant came from Superdrug, but this actually came from Primark. I also bought uh, a body buffer uh, Cecil, Cecil body pad and, and something that I thought was really good fun, trim and proper man soap. Can't go wrong with a bit of man soap. And then very, very similar things in here for my dad. He also got one of the body buffers. He also got a David Beckham deodorant spray, but this is David Beckham Hom. Hom. Um, hom. Um, he got the Water Mint and Grana Original Source Shower Gel. He also got the same um, hydrating moisturiser from Primark. And he also got the Radox Men Feel Powerful Shower Gel. Last but not least, my dad also got a bar of trim and proper man soap. Now, all of these things I've bought from either uh, Superdrug or Primark. Superdrug things were sort of on special offer, so I either got two for a certain price or I got two for one. I, you know, buy one, get one free. Um, or they were just reduced, you know. So things like uh, this, which should be, I don't know, £1.99, was reduced to half price at 99p, you know. So 
So what I've done is I've added all of that together. Now all of that, including the wash bags, has cost me somewhere in the region of 30 to 32 pounds. And I did go onto the Boots website and I had a look at everything that they had. And I had a look at all the gift sets that they've got in there, three for two. And I sort of jotted down which ones would I buy? You know, which ones would I have bought if I'd been buying them this year? And um, I worked out that, you know, I would have bought, but I would, probably would have bought for a few more. I would have bought for my mum, my dad, my brother. I would probably have bought for my uh, boyfriend and I would, would have bought for my nana as well out of their three for two. So to get gifts for five people, I calculated that I would probably spend somewhere in the region of £66. Out of the ones that I would have bought, I probably would have bought some number seven. I would have definitely have bought some Gillette or some Lynx or Ted Baker, some nice FC UK body spray sets. Um, so, I, you know, I would have spent around somewhere in the region of 66, but that would have been for five people instead of three. I've spent somewhere around 30, 32 pounds for three people. So that still leaves me with approximately 33, 34 pounds to spend on two other people. Now, my Nana would have been a tin of biscuits and my other half was just a gift set. So I can still go out and buy those things separately and still be better off. So rather than spending 66 pounds on the boots three for two, I've DIY'd, I've spent so far 32 pounds. I foresee if I, if I top up, buy a few more bits, I'll probably end up spending somewhere in the region of 45 pounds. So on the whole, I'm looking at about £20 saving. That's £20 back in my pocket or that's £20 um, on another gift for my little boy or, or whatever. To save £20, yes, I've had to go out and buy all of the products separately, but actually I got them all on one shopping trip. I bought all of the shower gels, the body sprays, the, the moisturisers, the body puffs. I bought all of those things in one shopping trip. I went to two shops and got everything in one go. So it wasn't any extra effort. It was quite fun actually having a look through everything and, and deciding, ooh, which ones would they like and which ones suit them. So overall, DIY definitely wins out on cost. It's about the same amount of effort picking out different products as it is picking out different gift sets. What's more fun? Actually, I had more fun putting these things together myself. The products probably, they're not, they're not the same brand, I admit. If I'd tried to buy number seven or Ted Baker or whatever, it probably would have cost me a lot more. But they're still really good, well-known high street brands. Even though you are paying more with the boots three for two, you're paying for the brands. Now, for me, that's not really a big issue. I have, you know, I'm not really brand conscious, I suppose is the best way of putting it. I'm not really brand conscious I don't really tend to buy into the whole well this brand is more expensive therefore it must be better I don't really believe that so um, I feel like what I've done here is I've just basically got better value for money and I'm really really happy with all of these things and oh, I hope that my family will enjoy them at Christmas as well so thanks for watching I appreciate it. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe down below and you can tap that notification bell and YouTube will let you know every time I upload. Thank you for watching. Bye.